Oh yeah, hey guys, it's Marsha, you're watching Exploring Australia. Today we're in Picton and there's a reason why there's a cemetery behind me, but I'll tell you more about that later. Get ready, check it out. Rev it up, pay the toll, following the white line to free our soul. The UHS-125, we got a combo. Yeah guys, so if you're wondering why there's a cemetery behind me, it's because we're in Picton, New South Wales, Australia. And it's an old historic town, but the main reason why we're here, I'm here with Vanessa and some friends, is because we got a ghost tour coming up. So we thought we'd do a ghost tour, but while we were here, we're going to check out a little bit of the sites of the historic town, just while we're here in the afternoon, before it gets dark. And as you can see, some nice old buildings, and yeah, so I'll, I'll tune back in. Now here's a bit of Picton for now, and I'll see you real soon as it gets closer to the ghost tour. Yeah guys, I know like we had a bit of fun in the intro and it's fun to do ghost tours and all that sort of stuff But I do want to say one thing to just to make sure it's perfectly clear When you come to things like this, this is a cemetery. So some respect must be made So, you know, it's like if you are visiting places like cemeteries and that Doing paranormal stuff and ghost tours and all that sort of stuff Have a bit of respect, treat the grounds with respect um, and make sure that you don't be a tool about it, you know, because this is a legitimate cemetery. There are people who have lost their lives and they are buried here and it's their place to rest. So, yeah, have some fun with doing the ghost tours thing and that, but if you are in a cemetery and that, just show a little bit of respect. Anyway, here's some more footage. Yeah, guys, i got to interrupt the video here. Um, we went to Picton uh, to do a ghost tour. Uh, now we've done a few ghost tours before and they're usually really fun, but this one was absolute rubbish. Like we've done ghost tours before and some of them are very entertaining. Okay, some th sometimes you go there and it's really freaky and there's things that, uh, you know, you, makes you wonder and makes you question, but you know, then there's others where just nothing happens, but usually they're really fun and they're entertaining. Now, a lot of the point of going to these ghost tours is to get into places where um, you don't normally get to see. So normally the group that's doing the tours, they are, you know, they've got an agreement with a, fac a facility or a building or a certain thing where, um, you know you can't the public doesn't normally get access to and that's important to keep in mind with this uh, because that you know that's part of the reason why you go on the tour is because you're not going to get there normally um, or if the if the place does have public access normally it's in certain hours so the ghost tours tend to do night things and, and you know it just gives you a different atmosphere and all that now, this isn't about whether you believe in ghosts or anything like that. That's totally up to you guys. I've got my own beliefs. Yeah, Picton was a waste of money and it, I don't want to waste the footage, right? We had fun. We shot a lot of good footage. Um, but yeah, uh, the one at Picton is pretty bad. Uh, <laughs> it was really expensive compared to most tours. Um, they wanted a lot of money and then they just didn't provide. Now another reason why it's really crap was, okay, the Picton Ghost Tour, they did the community hall, the, okay, back up, back up, back up. Okay, so Picton has a reputation for being haunted, right? And there's certain sites in Picton that have a reputation for being very spooky and very haunted and all that sort of stuff. Now, this particular ghost tour in Picton is held at the um, the Shire, uh, Picton Shire Hall, I think it's called, and they, they do that, and then there's the graveyard. The graveyard is open to the public, and there's actually some great information. If you want history, they've got the little, um, the square barcode, not the barcodes, but the square codes that you can scan with your phone and there's a website and all that sort of stuff where you can actually scan each area and it'll give you information. But it's open to the public night and day. 
and you can go there anytime you want and you'll see footage of that I'll probably have it running over while I'm speaking and of course there's the hall now this group rents the hall so really for what they offered um, it just wasn't worth the money you better off getting a couple friends hiring the hall and making your own little spooky night because the ghost tour in Picton it was they were rambling on there wasn't really much information they didn't help investigate and all that sort of stuff as they they claimed um, but where it was very disappointing was part of the tour was you convoy down to the graveyard and uh, and that's where the tour is supposed to continue well basically these guys talked for a couple hours um, they pretty much just repeated pretty much everything you can find online and told a couple of stories themselves tried to sell their own books and then kicked everybody out basically they just said go on down and they said they were going to be at the graveyard at 10 and they never showed and okay like I said I don't like bagging out people but the reason why is because there was a couple people there you know and a couple there was one couple in particular it was their very first ghost tour and a couple people that we were with it was their very first ghost tour and this was what they experienced and it was just like well what are we paying for now okay a lot of times the ghost tours might give you some things um, like EMF readers and all that sort of stuff to explore and this ghost tour kind of did that at the hall but then collected everything and kicked everybody down to the graveyard and then took off. Um, they never showed. There was a couple members from the group, but they weren't, they didn't have information and they weren't doing a tour. They were just sort of like standing around. It was almost like they were observing the tour themselves. Um, but the main people that were running it just took off. And like I said, there's people there that this was their very first ghost tour they've ever been on and it's just like it left a really bad taste in their mouth and like I'm like me and my wife have been on a lot and we have fun and it's like you know it's, sometimes there's things that make you go ooh you know what's this and there's other times where it's just like oh well, there's nothing here but it's fun and entertaining um, and I, you know I can recite a few ghost tours that uh, I've had a ball at and I just thought it was very entertaining like there's one where they dress, the, the guy who was taking us through the asylum actually dressed up and took on the persona of one of the old doctors there that was supposed to haunt the place and, and it was very entertaining there was nothing really spooky there yeah of course it was some creepy areas and um, you know get, yeah, it was an atmosphere and it was fun and it was just you know it, it was a ball and it was very informative. It was a lot of historical information about the asylum and all that. It was just really good. Um, but unfortunately, that tour has actually sold the um, sold it to another company, from what I've been told. So I can't vouch for that uh, specific tour now because it's changed hands and it's run differently. But this is—I'm just trying to give you an idea of what ghost tours are supposed to be about. Now. This particular tour at Picton, well, they weren't offering anything new, and it was more about trying to big note themselves and sell their own merch than actually provide any sort of entertainment or experience for people. And that is a real shame, and it was not worth the money they were charging. And it's not just the money for there, it's like, when they asked how many people were around the, from the local area, there was two people there from the local area. So everybody else came to Picton from outside the area. Now where this is important is, it's not just about the ticket price. It's about getting there and a lot of people, you know, when they travel far distances, sometimes they stay overnight and less. So there's a whole bunch of other expenses, uh, you know, surrounding just the ticket price. And this was just an absolute fraud. Because basically, if you had a few friends, you could hire the hall, you could pretty much look around it at night, 
you can do what you want to do and then cruise on down to the graveyard either in the day or at night or both and do it all on yourself so this wasn't offering anything in particular that you couldn't actually do yourself and that was really disappointing and like I, yeah we we made a day of it we wanted to do some yeah we were going to do whole of picton but we didn't get a chance to really explore picton which i we planned to go back and do a specific video on picton but so we turned it into oh we'll make this video the ghost tour you know i thought i'll make it just about the ghost tour and all that and there was just no ghost tour you know it was walking around a hall and listening to a couple people yammer on for two and a half hours pretty much you're very disappointing um, and then they send you down on your own and then leave with your money you know it's just like hey, go down to the go down to the graveyard and then they take off and then a couple people that were disappointed tried to actually ring them and they refused to answer their phone and granted one of them got a call back and you know they were just yeah whatever they were not really interested in feedback they were just trying to settle the person down um it was really disappointing i just i, I hate doing the negative thing and bagging out people um, especially with what you see what i do with the exploring australia but i really don't want people to think that oh the ghost tour is good let's go spend a lot of money to go there you know like i said we went a long way we, we're, we're not close we're about three and a half hours from Picton so we had to drive all the way down there that cost fuel and everything and you you know of course you're gonna have dinner out and all that sort of stuff during the day you got food drinks and all that um, and then you're spending a hundred dollars a person like ninety eight dollars per person to listen to them yammer on regurgitate stuff that they found online and then do things half-assed really it's like a lot of the things that they were doing none of the other serious paranormal groups would have even done I mean there was a lot of things that they were doing that the legitimate you know proper paranormal groups would just go no way and then for them to just disappear on you like that is just yeah it was really bad and I, okay so I'm going up but anyway yeah don't waste your money go down explore picked in for the sites there's a few other sites that we didn't quite get to because there was so much drama with the tour and there were so many people complaining and all that sort of stuff so we didn't get to see the viaducts and all that sort of stuff but we're gonna look at that when we go back down so I might include a little bit of it when I actually cover the whole Picton area when we go back. Um, but yeah, I just hope you're enjoying some of the footage. I'd like to remind you as well, um, you know, okay, yeah, ghost hunting and all that, there's a bit of fun involved in that, but when you're around grave cemeteries and graveyards and, and churches, just be mindful that they are real cemeteries, real churches, so show some element of respect for the place. You know, be respectful, be mindful, and also be mindful of neighbors of the areas as well. But it was very interesting, and there was a couple funny things happening. It's like, uh, this camera that I use for all my videos, it was actually glitching at the graveyards. And that was quite interesting, I found. Because it's done something that it's never done before. Was that a ghost? I'll leave that up to you. But it, it was some really interesting um, vibes down there. Now, if you're into ghost hunting and that, go check out Picton. There's definitely some interesting vibes down there. So, but yeah, save your money. Don't do the ghost tour, make up your own. And like one of our friends ended up doing, she got her phone out, downloaded the app, and was going around the graveyard and learned a whole bunch of information about the people that were buried there and, and of the church area. 
Plus, there's an, a, an interesting church to go see, a really old church that you'll see in the footage with this. Um, I think it's called St. Matthew's. Oh yeah, St. Mark's is the one in Picton. St. Matthew's is the one, the wooden church. And that's a really historical building. It's just outside of town, about 10 minutes drive or so. Um, but yeah, anyway, I hope you're enjoying the footage of this. And yeah. Uh, um, this is why the video is late because I, I, I got some good footage but I didn't want to just scrap it. I was going to scrap it. It was like, well, the whole video is a bus now. So I thought, well, look, I'm going to have a chat to you, talk to you about it, talk to you about my feelings on it. And I wish the Ghost Hunters group that runs picked in all the best luck, but I felt cheated. Everyone I was around felt cheated. Good luck to you. We ain't giving you any more of our money. Anyway, that's it from me. Remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. And I hope you'll enjoy the next one. It'll be a lot better than this one. But anyway, uh, I've got to thank Conceptual Creative who helped me get around the place. And they do such a great job on my website. Um, you know, so go to markshamemusic.com.au and see the website that they built for me. Check out conceptualcreative.com.au and see what services they can offer you and help you out because they do amazing work. Anyway, I'm Mark Shay. This is Exploring Australia. Until next time, there'll be a better video coming up. See ya!